What is the impact? We, we did some controlled studies, really, with our respondent organisations to find out where the jobs would be in the future in those organisations. And the figures that we were getting out was that if you looked at five to ten years as the horizon, um, probably for every 20 jobs lost as a result of the application of this technology, 13 would be created, various types of jobs, um, which is slightly better news than you very often read in the, in the headlines about job killing automation. But uh, the other discovery we made when we read all the future of work studies was that they seem to be omitting two blatantly obvious factors when you, when you think about it that are really job creators. One of those is the massive data explosion, which is, is creating a lot of new work, which is precisely why the technologies are being applied in order to deal with the rising workloads. The second one is the massively increased burden of, of regulation and bureaucracy, which also creates an enormous amount of jobs, which, again, as I said, are not factored in very often in the calculations going forward. Um, but what, the final irony of that, of course, is that the technologies we are talking about are, both de uh, are designed both to be solutions to those problems but they also uh, make the problems worse because they create more data and create the opportunities for more regulation and bureaucracy.